Lawbite. Six months ago, Blizzard released their fantastic cinematic for Bastion, to go alongside the release of their newly playable map, Eichenwald. The implications from that cinematic were pretty big, it left me speculating on two possible outcomes, and well, it looks like one of them was right. We're finally finding out what happens to Bastion, after it began its wandering of the world. But before we dive into the new stuff, let me quickly refresh your memory. Alright, three, two, one. The world was pretty sweet, it had robots and they would help maintain the peace and be servants in that. One day, something known as the God Program unleashed and all of the robots went nuts. They started killing humans and factories around the world called Omniums pumped out more and more of these crazy robots. The majority of the killing machines were called the Bastion Unit, which was the soldier and the lifeblood of this robot army. Designed for combat, they were deadly as hell. The attacks were so bad that humanity had no choice but to throw nations aside and join forces to save humanity. A special team was then created and the world's best fighters, technology and geniuses came together together and managed to stop the crazy robots. Ugh, oh, and that was the Omnic Crisis. Omnics were the real name of the robot race, and are mostly free-willed now, trying to find their place in the world and be forgiven for their crimes, if you can call being mind-controlled a crime. Anyway, humanity is slowly accepting the Omnics, but in many cases there's a lot of hate and racism towards them. I mean, they did kill a lot of people. Now, let's fly over to Germany at the uh, current timeline, and just outside of Stuttgart, this is the place of a great battle that happened 30 years back during the Omnic Crisis. The last Bastion unit awoke at this time and place, overgrown and abandoned, and with something very strange indeed. Free Will. Created for war, Free Will was never really intended for a Bastion unit, so unsure of what to do, the Bastion unit decided to head towards the strange marker blaring over its UI. And during the trip, the Bastion unit found itself amazed by the beauty that is life, something it was never able to understand or appreciate before. Nature truly is humbling. Or, you know, I think it is. I've not been outside in years, personally. Having made friends with a cute-as-heck bird, Bastion was pretty happy. Until he heard a familiar sound. Triggered by a woodpecker, the Bastion unit suddenly went into a combat mode, attempting to destroy this potential threat. But after regaining control, it was shocked by its lack of self-control and the destruction the unit had brought upon the land. The nature that it had just begun to love Bastion had destroyed it, so the unit decided to leave it behind, scared to harm it further. Arriving at the target, it turned out to be a human city, Stuttgart. The UI was still telling the Bastion unit to attack, complete its mission. Surrounded by destroyed Bastion units, the unit suddenly remembered everything. The war, the killing, the lack of control, the objective, the objective, destroy the city kill the humans. Thankfully, the friendly bird had arrived just in time and reminded the Bastion unit that it still had free will and it doesn't have to kill and destroy. And given the choice between killing and, I don't know, freedom, it was an easy choice and Bastion chose life. So that's where we left off six months ago, and I hope I could recap that quickly for you. But that's when my speculation came in. We discussed what's next for this cute robot. There were basically two options in my opinion. Based on the Bastion unit finding its way back to humanity at some point in its wandering, and it was known as a weapon made for killing, it would end up being hunted or may even kill first given its lack of self-control from before. Either the newly reforming Overwatch would find the Omnic and attempt to save it, to teach the Bastion unit how to control itself and do no more harm, similar to how Zenyatta saved Genji from a life of self-hatred in his cyborg form. Or, a weapon as powerful as this unit could be used again by the group known as Talon, the dark organization trying to kill the world leaders and take control, actively seeking ways to repower Omnium factories and potentially even start a new Omnic war. So who knows what they could get away with if they managed to recover this bastion and use the tech hidden away in it given that it's the last one left. With the release of the new comic, Binary, we finally get our answer today. The comic begins a little bit later after that cinematic, in northern Sweden. The very same Bastion unit emerges from the sea. From the goddamn sea! Poor thing isn't looking so good, but apparently it's made more friends, so that's good, I guess. As expected, Bastion encounters humans, and they immediately freak the fuck out. Given the nature of the Omnics and the terrible history that it has, the town immediately bands together to discuss what to do, afraid that a powerful, killing machine is walking around their town and may be hunting them. But thankfully, Torbjorn just so happens to be in this town. Why is he there, actually? Is this town the one he lives in with his wife and many, 
many children. I mean, good for you, Tob. Like, wow, that's a lot of kids. But seriously, though, I do believe a fair theory as to why Torbjorn's in this town is because there's been multiple sightings of this Bastion unit all over the country as it's got to Sweden, right? So he knows that it exists and he's probably actually hunting it. Just the man for the job, Torbjorn was an original member of Overwatch, but actually, even before that, he was part of the elite team that the nations formed to stop the Omnic Crisis in the beginning. Given the information about the Bastion unit, Torbjorn knows there's something different about it. It's actually had multiple chances now to kill and hasn't. But despite that, he will not take any risks and offers to hunt the machine. Against Torbjorn's will, he was accompanied by the head of the police and Torbjorn began his hunt. In the very next scene, it's revealed that Torbjorn was actually responsible for the creation of the Bastion units. Torbjorn created the very weapon that devastated the world. Sure, he never pulled the trigger, right? But he created the trigger in the first place. And we know from the other comics, like in a previous law bite we did, Torbjorn is hunting down his former creations and weapons, taking it upon himself to make up for his mistakes. You know, he seems to spend his whole life attempting to achieve this goal, so that must be a heavy weight to carry. Thanks to the overzealousness of the policeman, however, the trap immediately fails and the hunt continues. But interestingly, the Bastion unit didn't fight back, even when under attack directly. Compared to its reaction when it heard the sound of a woodpecker in the original cinematic, where it thinks it can hear gunfire somewhere, under direct fire it doesn't attack back, it just runs away. That's different. That's hope. Despite everything, Torbjorn couldn't let go of that hope, walking directly up to the Bastion, even threatening it, risking everything. But the Bastion would not attack. Even when it's under attack directly, Torbjorn quickly dispatches these stupid policemen and goes after the Bastion unit for a final time. But this time, not as an enemy, as a friend. Or not, okay, he just directly says they're not friends, but I'm not buying that. Together, they begin a new journey, one that may lead to redemption for both Torbjorn and Bastion. Pretty nice theme. Damn, that's crunchy. There you have it. The comic binary was fantastic. I just knew they'd do something special with Bastion eventually, right? There's just no way he'd just like randomly get destroyed or be forgotten or something. And if Torbjorn manages to bring Bastion back to the reforming Overwatch and they accept it, I'd say Bastion may be the key to stopping this potential upcoming attack that Talon is, well, I think they're planning. Throughout all the comics we've seen released, they've kind of been seen gathering power sources to fuel a new Omnium factory. And it really seems like they're going to be trying for another Omnic-based attack. Maybe Bastion and his free will could help teach the reformed Overwatch how to save the mind-controlled Omnics instead of just destroying them like before. But who knows? What do you think? Let me know in the comments. And while I've got you, I'd like to say a special thank you to my patrons who have been supporting me for a very long time, but specifically kept supporting me through this last month. I've kind of been MIA from YouTube lately, and I honestly had a pretty good IRL reason, and I'm sorry for that. But I just want to say thank you for still trusting me and knowing that I'm not leaving, obviously. So thank you guys. If you'd like to check out the Patreon page, it's linked in the description. Otherwise, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you lot next time.